one small filtering of your rectifier output. How a capacitor smoothens the pulsating output of a rectifier. Here we have a circuit with a bridge rectifier and a load. Now, without capacitor filtering, the output would be a pulsating DC output. Okay, so what happens if a filter capacitor is added? Now, if a filter capacitor is added, this is the filter capacitor here, okay? What would happen is as the, the voltage rises on the first half cycle, the capacitor would charge up with that voltage and remain, providing that the load is light, this, this load is a high resistance, not drawing much current, the capacitor remains charged at the voltage peak and remains there, okay? However, if the load is heavy, meaning a small resistance, the capacitor will charge up, but it will discharge during um, the fall of the first half cycle and recharge again. Okay, so what I'll do now, I will now draw in the waveforms for um, a, a light load, and then we for, for various loads. So we'll we'll actually look at the diagrams now for um, a light load for no load, a light load for heavy load. Okay, so here we have an enlarging diagram of the pulsating output, DC output. Right, so let's, I'm going to draw in now what the waveform will look like at no load. Okay, so at no load, okay, this point across, across here is your V peak. The capacitor is going to charge, follow the waveform up to V peak, no load, and remain charged. And you're going to get a flat DC output at the value of V peak. That is for no load. So under no load, the actual DC output will be equal to V peak. Now, if we have a light load, a light load, the capacitor is going to charge up. Again, we can draw in, sorry, we can draw in V peak. Capacitor is going to charge up following the waveform. And during the fall of the first half cycle, it will discharge slightly. Okay, and then on the second half cycle, it will recharge, it will recharge again. Okay, and follow that all the way through. Okay, so you're going to get what we call, um, you're going to get still get a slight ripple. It's called the ripple on the top. It will be slightly pulsating, but it will not fall. It will not. Previously, if there was no filtering, the output would have fallen all the way down. Okay, and then it would come back up again. Right? But because of the filtering, we now get an output that is quite steady at the peak. Now, let's see what happens under a heavy load. So a heavy load. The capacitor charges up. The peak, but because the load is heavy, the capacitor will discharge. Will discharge heavily. Okay, and then it would recharge on the rise of the waveform. So, for heavy load, small resistance, the capacitor charges up to the peak, but discharges heavily. Right, and then recharge it again. So you get a lower average DC output voltage and also a higher ripple. This table shows the comparison for half wave and full wave rectifiers with various sizes of capacitors and load resistance. Now we start off with um, a 
47 microfarad capacitor. Okay. And we have various loads, 1 kilo, K ohm, 200 ohms, and 5 ohms. 1 K ohm represents a light load. 200 um, ohms represents a medium load. And a 50 ohm represents quite heavy load. All right. Now, we're going to assume that the AC supply is 50 hertz. And the V peak out across the, the load is 24 volts. All right. Now, look at. In the green area, um, in the in the green area, you see that for the light load 1k for the half wave rectifier, you get an output of 19.8 volts. For the full wave rectifier, you get a higher output voltage, 21.7, and that is because you're having two um, output waves, full wave rectified waves, so you get a higher DC output voltage. Now, for 200 ohms, as the load increases now, right, smaller resistance, um, you see that the voltage has dropped from 90.8 to 11.6 in the half wave rectifier and down to 15.7 for the full wave. Now, when the load gets really heavy, you're drawing a lot of current through 50 ohm resistor, you find that the voltage has dropped all the way down to 4.57 for the half wave and 7.67 for the full wave. Now in the yellow area, we, are now, we have now increased the size of the capacitor, right? And we have 1K ohm load, 200 ohm load, and 50 ohm load. And note that the voltages are, in are, are always higher because you have better filtering with 100 uh, microfarad capacitor, right? You have 21.8 uh, volts, uh, for the 1k ohm, for the half wave, rect half wave rectifier, and you have 22.9 volts for the full wave. Of course, the voltage again falls off as you increase the load. Okay, voltage falls off. Now, if we switch now, a, a much smaller capacitor, 10 microfarads, much smaller than the 47 capacitor. Oh, you see that the voltage for both the half wave and the full wave are all much lower than the the voltage for the 47 microfarad and of course much much lower than the voltage for the 100 microfarad so what this is telling us that um with increased filtering in other words of higher value capacitor the output voltage um is higher if the capacitors capacitor is small means that's very um small filtering the voltage drops off also, if the load is heavy, if you have a small resistance, which means a heavy load, the voltage falls off. If the load is light, the voltage is higher. Okay, um, so what is the formula used for calculating the, the, the filtered output voltage? The formula is the VDC voltage, filtered voltage, is equal to V peak divided by 1 plus um, 1 over 2 times the frequency times the resistor times the capacitor. Now really, you should put this in brackets so that you make sure that it's done, it's separated from the one. And so where the frequency is a pulsating DC frequency. You have to be careful here. This frequency is the actual frequency of the pulse, the DC pulse. So for a 50 hertz input signal for half a rectifier, the DC pulse is 50 hertz, right? And for a full wave rectifier, because you're getting two pulses for every cycle, the frequency is actually 100 hertz. So this F here is actually the frequency of the output and not the frequency of the input. So you have to be careful when you're doing calculations. Calculating the filtered DC voltage. Find the DC voltage across a 50 ohm load connected to a capacitor. Filtered bridge rectifier. If the bridge rectifier has a peak output voltage of 24 volts and the capacitor has a value of 47 microfarads, the AC input frequency is 50 hertz. So V DC filtered equals to V peak. Out is 
divided by 1 plus 1 over 2 f r c where f is 2 times the AC and torque frequency. So we have we have 24 volts divided by 1 plus 1 over 2 times 100 that's 2 times 50 is 100 times 50 ohm times 47 times 10 to the minus 6 so all that is all that so we get that B B C is equal to 24 volts divided by 1 plus if you calculate if you calculate um, if you calculate this value here you're going to get 2.13 2.13 so that gives us 24 volts divided by 3.13 okay 24 divided by 3.13 24 divided by 3.13 equals 7.67 volts Okay, so just recapping, the, the DC filter output is V peak out divided by 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 2 times the frequency, which is the actual frequency of the ripple. And in this case, it is 2 times 50, which would be 100 hertz because it's a, a full wave signal times the resistance and the capacitor. So that gives us 24 volts divided by 1 plus 1 over 2 by 100 by 50 by 47 times 10 to the minus 6. Okay, uh, where you, if you work out this, this value here, you will get 2.13. So you get 24 volts divided by 1 plus 2.13, which is 24 volts divided by 3.13, which is 7.67 volts, which is the same result in the table, the previous table.